I got, I got one bar, I know. Okay, that's live. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Home. It is overcast but sunny. We're, we're at our new location in Newport, Tennessee. Here's Brett, Josh, me, and Mom. Mom. We're having a, look, we're having a day out on the slab. <laughs> <laughs> Let like me show it. you what we're doing. This is our new facility we'll be coming to here whenever this gets done, right, Brett? Whenever this gets done. Oh, you're taking a video break? Ah! <laughs> this is a truss system, all right? Now, from this end to that end is 60 feet, and from the bottom to the top is 30 feet. So it's it's a complete half circle. We're building it on the ground. We got a jig on the ground, and then we're going to stand it straight up. It'll be like a Quonset hut or half circle, 200 feet long. These will be positioned about four foot apart for 200 feet, and then we're going to spray foam the inside of it. How, how many of these are we going to have? I'm going to start with 50. Wow. Yeah, and we're on number three. 50. All right. <laughs> we're all night. <laughs> You see how it is? We've got a bottom plate, a top plate, and then these are 45, 45 degree angle two by fours. And we continue, this is a truss and it transfers the load. So when the weight comes down on the top, it's transferred throughout oh. the whole structure. So all the weight is, is, is holding everything, right? Very cool. So come on, let me show you a little bit. Walk down here. Brett's putting the second layer. We've got one layer now. And we'll put two layers and we're staggering our seams. So if two boards stop, we'll put the other board right on the top of that and it'll stagger them. Okay. All the way down. So there's kind of a system we got here. Isn't this cool? Yeah. This is... so like right here, we have a break in the, in the boards. Okay. Okay, so we'll put a scab in between here. Then the next board will be bridged across that bring it together and we glue everything together. Just put liquid nail, extra liquid nail on everything. Somebody said strong like an egg. Strong like bull. <laughs> That's right. Isn't this neat? Now yeah. 60 feet, so we've got a 60 foot building and we can continue to make it in all these two by fours. Let me show you over here. All these two by fours are, a lot of them are just from scrap that we've had from uh, the buildings we've been building, 135 homes. We've burnt a lot, we've kept a lot. About six months ago, we started keeping back all of our scraps, all of our plywood. What we'll do is we'll take scraps of the plywood and we'll apply it to the face of those trusses before we stand them up. That gives it even more strength. We'll glue everything, screw them down on the face, you know? So I'm excited, this is cool. This whole building, about 200 feet long, will probably, in materials, is about 20 grand. Okay. Is that not amazing? That's really inexpensive. 200 feet, and that's with metal on it. So I'm going to go up with metal, and then we're going to have to clear so we can have natural light come in, and then metal again. We're going to save the water so we have gutters along the whole back side of it. We'll collect our water. Um, we got great exposure here. I'd like to, in the future, we're going to put solar panels all over here and maybe be self sufficient. Wow. Be awesome. It's amazing, but do you want to tell them the best thing and what's over past these? Oh, yeah. Right through the Darien jungle right there. <laughs> it's two acres and we border the Pigeon River. Wow. It is so gorgeous. We have a railroad track. We've got access across our tracks. And as soon as we get this building up, we get going, all the guys will be piddling over there. And they've got two acres. I mean, we're talking riverfront. Riverfront. It's so nice. And the river is just beautiful. It's almost a sanctuary river. They've got, I think, a one more mile to be cleaned up and it'll be called the Sanctuary River. River. So we're excited about that. It's just in the city of, of Newport, the county of Cop County, and the city officials offered us this property and we're just so glad to be here. Um, looks like a pile of stuff right now, but we're gonna make it gorgeous. This is gonna be a home, tiny home destination. And over there, we've got about 12, 13 acres. It's gonna be our new community, our tiny home community of, we've got water, power, solar, water, power, sewer, um, high-speed internet, everything you'd like in the, in the community. So Look stay tuned. Looks like somebody's already living over here. Ah, we got we got squatters over here. <laughs> <laughs> they pulled in in the middle of the night. Okay. Yeah, but we do have. We're gonna have four or five temporary services right here because we've got people that have stayed at the warehouse. We'll put them down here, and uh, 
show. So, hey, I just wanted to show everybody what we're doing today on this Saturday. I'm just so excited about this truss system. We just laid it out on the ground, went 60 feet, 30, pulled a big string, put a chalk line on the concrete, and then went for it. So, stay tuned. Sit this thing will last. This is just the beginning. Yeah, it's just the beginning. We got anchors. We're going to anchor to the concrete and everything for the snow and everything we're doing. So, hopefully in a couple months we'll be here. This is actually the place is going to be the workshop, too. We'll have another building over here that you guys will have the workshop, uh, bunk rooms, and wow. this, will be, this will be the tiny home mecca right here. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Any questions, go to IncredibleTinyHomes.com. We'll bring pictures and videos to you constantly. All right? God bless you.